This is U.S. Congressperson Rashida Tlaib's third election cycle. She's getting the word out about her state's primary election when Americans choose the candidate that will represent their party in the November midterm elections. Is it 20, 2734? Dearborn in the state of Michigan has been a safe bet for liberals for the better part of two decades. If Tlaib is the winning Democrat, she is almost guaranteed to keep her seat in Washington. But this time, she's facing a different set of dynamics. This largely Arab-American Detroit suburb is part of a redrawn congressional map, meaning Tlaib has not actually had to campaign in or represent this area before. And while the Palestinian-American congresswoman is popular here, she's also up against a Democratic opponent who is backed by the powerful Israeli lobby. Janice Winfrey's backers say the area needs African-American representation, given the city of Detroit itself is nearly 80 percent black. Much of her campaign funding comes from a specifically pro-Israel political action committee, a group designed to raise and spend money for political candidates. We should all be fearful of, you know, those that believe the status quo is okay, that people suffering this much is okay globally, not just here in my community, but even overseas and especially in Palestine. The publisher of the oldest Arab American weekly says the Israeli occupation of Palestine remains a key driver of the vote for residents in Dearborn, which has the largest Arabic speaking community in the U.S. That doesn't mean that we are not Americans and we do not love this country. And, and if you love someone and you see that they're doing something wrong, you try to fix it. And we're trying to fix it. We're saying to America that what you're doing in the Middle East is not fair. This is a city with no shortage of Arab American candidates for elected office. But primaries have historically had low voter turnout. And making sure residents show up at the polls is a shared battle among candidates. Yasmin Asabawi, TRT World, Dearborn, Michigan.